welcome to my channel my name is Kay today I'm gonna be doing a mini vlog on the stuff that I will be bringing to surgery as you guys can see by my title I am getting surgery in the Dominican Republic by Dr. Soto so if you guys are interested in my video you guys can continue watching also don't forget to like comment and share and subscribe to my channel this is my first video so there will be a lot more videos after this one so if you guys are interested don't forget to subscribe and comment like and share and let's get into this video so the first thing that i'm gonna talk about is my doctor well i said it already i'm going to dr soto um i'm getting a tummy tuck muscle repair lipo 360 and fat transfer to the hips i'm leaving in about four weeks so i I, I'm already start. I'm already packing, so I'm like, okay, you know what? Why don't I just do a video on the stuff that I'm already packing? I also watch other dolls' videos and see what they got, and it really, really helped me. So I hope this video also helps other dolls who are going. And if you guys feel I forgot something, please, please comment. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, so let's get into this video. So the first thing that I will be bringing is my blanket. I will be bringing my blanket. My recovery house said to bring it and I always bring my blanket everywhere I go. So I'm gonna be bringing this with me. And I got this off of Amazon. It's a nice size. It's a little throw and the inside. It's very nice and soft. So I'll be bringing this with me. Um, my little blanket. I'm literally packing with you guys, so I'm excited. I just bought everything, and now I'm like really, really preparing to leave. So this is my blanket. The next thing is my boards and my lipo foam. So I got all three of these from Amazon. So the first thing is my lipo, my back lipo board. So this goes in your back right here. And you put it under your faja. So I got this. And I also got my app board to put underneath my faja. I see a lot of dolls who get tummy tucks, they don't really usually wear this until after they come home because their incisions are still sensitive. So I'm gonna talk to my doctor and see if I could use this like a week after surgery while I'm still in the DR. And if he clears me, then I'm gonna wear it. But I'm still gonna bring this because compression, the better, the, the more compression, the better. And then I have my lipo boards. So three comes in a pack. This was also from Amazon as well. So the next thing is my pee pads. I was told to bring this. So I got this, this is from Amazon. It's a pack of 30. And I also got my toys from my incisions. I already opened it. And I'm like, wow, this is a lot. But then I'm my, my recovery house told me to bring 62. So I don't know. Like this is my first time doing surgery, so I don't know. So I'm just gonna bring everything. I'm just gonna bring all of it. The whole thing. So and then I seen another doll on, on YouTube buy this, and I'm like, oh, this is neat. So basically, this is it's called scrubs it's from amazon so basically what it is it's a sponge that you wet and rub in and then you scrub on your body and then your towel dries so i know that we can't take showers after our surgery and we can only take like little bird baths so i think this is really great um it was like I pay like $18 for this and this it's a pack of 25 and yeah I think it's great and it's even good for like even when you're traveling too like you know if you just want to freshen up and stuff like that I heard the water in the DR affects your incision so I don't know how true that is but 
I'm just, I just think this is good. So, ladies, if you're looking for something to wash up yourself after surgery and feel clean, get this. Okay. So, after surgery, we're gonna, we're gonna be drained. So, I got this spot, told my friend, actually, who had surgery, she recommended me get this. You, it comes in a pack of 28. So basically what it is, it's liquid It's liquid iron. So you put the packet in a cup of water or a bottle of water and you drink it. So, you know, we need iron. Just like what our doctors tell us that we need to take our vitamins with iron before surgery. It's highly recommended that you take it after surgery as, as well. So you can get back your strength and... You know or you never know if your hemo might drop it probably will drop after surgery never know but you know it's good so it helps reduce tiredness fatigue and obviously we're gonna be drained so well I'm gonna be drained so I'm thinking I'm gonna be drained but you know yeah I need this and then my melatonin gummies for helping me sleep at night you know, I heard it's very rough sleeping, so I got some of the dollar store. It's like a pack of ten. It's a chewable one because I like I have a hard time taking tablets, to, um, the hard hard um, vitamins because it's just it's just hard for me. <laughs> but yeah, so this is chewable one. So yeah, I've seen a lot of dolls get this as well. And then I got my gloves. I took it out of the box. And I put it in here for more compression so I could have space in my suitcase. But these are gloves. The doctor highly recommends bringing your own. So then the next thing is my wipes, baby wipes. Unscented, obviously. Um, you know, it's a pack of hundred. I'm probably gonna go buy a next pack because you never know. Because I still think a hundred small is is small. So you never know how much you might need. So I'm going to probably get a next pack of this. So the Heal Fast, let me show you guys. I'm in a surgery group and they actually had a bundle on sale, which was great. Um, so basically Heal Fast, I know you guys seen a lot of this and you've seen a lot of dolls get this. So this is the pre-op one. And then this is the post-op. Right, so the pre-op obviously you take it five days before surgery, and the post-op you take it after surgery. And a lot of my friends took this and believe in the hype, guys. It, they say it's good, so I trust that. So I got it because I want to get a speedy recovery when I come out of surgery because I know I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be down, but I wanna you know at least be able to um, have a speedy recovery. So heal fast highly recommend and then i have my hydrogen peroxide i got it also from amazon basically everything's from amazon guys everything i got is from amazon and then i got my stool softener you need this highly recommended and then my core fill my girl brought this so basically you take it and you drip some in your water um, this is for after surgery to help with healing as well. So I highly recommend this. My girl took this as well and she said it's really good. So this is also from Amazon. Chlorophyll. So, yeah. I highly recommend that. Okay, and then my vitamins. My folic acid. This is what I'm taking right now as well as my b12 and my iron supplement so i'm obviously going to take it after surgery as well which is also recommended so you don't just stop taking your vitamins after surgery you have to like continue to take it after surgery and then we got the good and care and the care so i basically got the tablets the cream And the gel. 
So I basically got all of them. So this helps with healing and swelling. So yeah, highly recommended. And then the Q-tips to clean your incisions. Got a pack of these. And then I got my, so this is chewable cold fighters, just in case, you know, we come done with a call. This is good. Get this. And then my Benadryl for itching. So I heard lipo is very, very itchy and I hate itching. So, you know, even when I, like, I get a mosquito bite, I'm, yeah. I'm like so miserable. So yeah, this. I want to bring this right and then i got my toiletries i got it in a little package. i got this from walmart this little package this traveling package i got my tylenol for pain muscle and body i just ordered the tylenol pm and it's coming in the mail so i'm waiting for that to also take for pain i'm only taking tylenol for pain that's the only thing i'll be taking um and i got my thermometer you want to bring a thermometer deodorant okay so i see everybody's been getting the dial um antibacterial soap i couldn't find it on amazon i don't know why i'm only seeing the hand one i don't know i'm having a hard time finding it but i found this dove one so i hope i could use this i'm gonna ask my nurse if i could use this before an after surgery um and my toothbrush and this these for my braces for my braces so and then i got my scar repair patch i also got this from amazon this is the scar silicone tape for your incisions so this is for my tummy tuck scar so i see a lot of dolls using this after when they come home after surgery as well so i'm gonna also talk to my doctor and see if i can use it after what he recommends i'm gonna follow his instructions but i still i'm still gonna bring it either way and then my toothpaste and then my air plugs and my belly button i'm gonna bring that and then for my massages, I got, I brought, I'm going to bring this. I'm going to bring this by Palmer's. It's coconut oil. It's cocoa butter, but in the oil form for skin therapy. I got this off of Amazon. It's just, yeah, see? Nice. So I'm doing my massage. Keep it nice and moist. It's always good to keep your... It smells so good. Look how sh look at that. Keep it nice and moist. This is nice. Yeah, so this is for my massages. And I also got my bio oil for my skin as well. Well for my massages. Helps with scarring. If you really, really want to bring that. And then I got oh my glasses. I got this for my recover. Well, I got this for my recovery house for after surgery. But my recovery house already said that this comes with my package that I paid for. But I'm still gonna bring it either way. You know, more is always better when it comes to these type of things. And then I got my compression socks, which I got from Amazon. So I think this is the 30 millimeter one, the one that's recommended for surgery. So this is what I got. It came in a pack of two, so that's good. And then I got my camis as well. It came in a pack of five from Amazon for after surgery. This is really thin, but it will still do what it needs to do. So you wanna put this in after you have surgery so that your faha doesn't give you marks and i like how it's breathable so this i got from amazon and it came in a pack of five so let's see one and the white one oh, 
so yeah definitely need these and then disposable underwear that i also got from amazon which is a must and a washcloth you know i'm gonna bring a couple of these you never know right so i'll bring this over here because i'm thinking you guys aren't seeing everything this is my suitcase so I'm literally packed, you guys. Okay, this is for my pills. My, if I have to take medication, also for my vitamins, everything. You know, I see a lot of dolls bring this as well. So, I'm like, okay, why not get it? I just got it from the dollar store. It was only like $2. And my soap dish for my soap. I always bring this when I travel. And then here and all to help me okay this is gonna be my best friend they say so i'll walk around with it and then my fanny pack so guys i know there's a lot of girls saying that like you know how do we like our money everything so like for me when i go i'm gonna have this with me 24 7 basically but obviously i have a safe that i got from amazon um i have a safe that i got from amazon it's up there can you get it for me please i got a safe from amazon that i'm gonna be keeping my stuff in but my recovery house has a safe so that's the next thing when you guys are going to when you guys are picking a recovery's house ask them these questions like ask them do you guys have to have a safe do i need to bring my own locks like you know like stuff like that so my recovery house actually has a safe that i can put my stuff in and then i get the key to the personal safe so which is good but while we're traveling like when we're going to get our labs or if we want to go on an outing or anything you know you want to always have your fanny pack on you like it's easy you don't need to carry a bag you're coming from the hospital you just have everything it's just small everything's in there your phone your passport your money you know so you want to have this right like this is important you want to have this on you at all times when you're going out so this is this is that right and hold on let me show you guys the safe that i'm bringing So this is the safe that I will be bringing to the recovery house that I also got from Amazon as well. I know it's big guys, but I'm going to put everything in here, my money, everything, and I'm going to have the key with me at all times, like, you know, but yeah, this is just for surgery. So, cause I wanted something to bring to like a diversion type of thing diversion safe so this is going to be coming with me as well and then i got my dresses so i got my dresses from fashion nova i just had to bring dresses for you know when we go to our appointments when we go come out of surgery and we're walking around with our compression socks so you definitely want to get that this is size medium it's very stretchy it's like a maxi dress I should have got a small because this is actually like, you know, kind of big for a medium, I think. Well, I don't know, but I haven't worn medium in a long time, guys. So this is why I don't know. Okay. Don't mind me. So these are the dresses. I got this next dress, which is cute, I think. You know, after checkup. Put that there. Get this. Snatch walking. <laughs> that okay so i want you guys to see this one so this one i really 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 love so this is basically a nightgown but i was looking for something that had pockets and easy to like take off of me so i'm like okay i've seen this on amazon and i'm just like wow boom i'm in my faha so pretend i'm wearing my faha guys and then I button it up all the way. 
like this, right? And then I'm gonna have my drainage, so I could just put my drainage in the pocket. Boom. Can you guys see? So this is nice. This is a nightgown. So I thought this was really, really neat and needed. And it's breathable. You know, we're going to be in a different country. It's going to be hot. You don't want nothing heavy on you. You know? So, yeah. And um, my travel pillow. My um, bobby pillow, I'm going to be getting at the DR. In the DR, I'm, I'm going to um someone's gonna actually come and drop one off for me i found her on instagram so she's gonna come drop my body pillow for me um and yeah like that's basically it i'm still waiting for my extension cord to order a new one and yeah that's this is basically it but if you guys feel i forgot something please comment below and let me know um what you guys think i forgot I think this is good enough. I heard you don't have to bring a lot of stuff, you guys. You just need to bring the important things, right? So it's always good to do your research. Always find, we'll always see, always ask your recovery house too. They'll know because you know they see this stuff every day. So we'll always ask them what they need to bring, and also just make sure you're preparing yourself for surgery. Like a lot of people think, okay, yeah, I'm gonna go get surgery and snatch and i'm ready to go no you have to like you have to mentally prepare yourself for the after effect like you know mentally you know um make sure you're eating well you're you're drinking a lot of water you're taking your vitamins and you're just following your doctor's instructions before you go to surgery because you don't want nothing to happen or you don't you don't you just want to be in your best health right we always think okay yeah we're, we're gonna get all these things and we're ready no you have to like prepare your body as well you want to be in the best health you want to be working i heard like when you work out like constantly before surgery it really helps with the recovery um like working out or walking like even if you're not a person that works out go for walks every day up until surgery like a month before like you know really exercise so when you're coming out of surgery it'll help you with the healing right so yeah, like just prepare yourself mentally and also obviously get the stuff that you need for surgery and just be safe, travel safe. If you're going with a partner, that's great. I'm going with no one. I'm going by myself. I'm going dolo dolo. Um, I'm thinking about if I should vlog this experience of like actually going to the DR and like being there and like my whole experience and everything. So if that's something you guys want to see, comment below and let me know if you guys want to see that. If you want to see me vlog the whole experience like everything so let me know but yeah so this is basically it you guys for my video um thank you guys so much for watching i'm super excited i'm so happy to be starting this new journey um it's well overdue but you know everything is timing god's timing so if anybody else is going out to surgery i wish you guys all the best i hope you guys Heal fast and have a safe recovery and everything's well, right? So once again, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really, really appreciate it. And if you are new to my channel, just make sure you guys subscribe and let me know what other videos you guys want to see. This is my first video, but I really want to do like life type of videos. Like, you know, I know my channel says fashion and beauty and stuff like that but i also want to do like vlogs and stuff so tell me what you guys are interested in and you know i'm new to the new the, the youtube world so you guys will definitely see more of me and thank you guys so much for watching thank you thank you and i'll see you guys in my next video